Right, drawing this square, regular square based pyramid at this 60 degree angle with the apex on the XY axis over here. All right, so the way we need to do that is first of all, we need to start by drawing that auxiliary view. All right, on your exercise, they've got these little lines in hidden detail. That is actually incorrect. Um, they must be solid because where am I standing? To get that auxiliary view, I'm standing over here, looking in that direction. Therefore, I can see all of these lines as being solid, uh, not hidden detail. Right, step number one, you draw a line going through the center A over there at 60 degrees. It's a construction line. You draw a line going at 30 degrees through A over there, and that will give you a nice 90 degree angle over there. Step number two is to be able to draw the square. Now for us to be able to draw a square, I need to get this dimension over here. They've given you a dimension of the number 28. Um, I need this dimension from point A to the corner. So to get that, start out by drawing an auxiliary view. Draw a line at 45 degrees. You can see I'm just using a part of the border over there. Measure off your 28 millimeters. 28 millimeters on your ruler. Extend it out there and mark off that 28 millimeters there. Once you've got that, you can draw another construction line over there and that will give you basically the one side of that square. After that, you can draw that little line over there, which would give you that distance from A to the corner. Okay? So what I can do now is I can take my pair of compasses, I can set it from A to that corner, and I can place it at the center A and mark off on these lines that I've just drawn the points to which I must just link it up. Okay? That would give me my perfect square with the correct dimensions on their sides. Draw that in very accurately. You get the accuracy of this right, otherwise your whole drawing's accuracy is going to be affected by it. Right, once you've got that, I now need to transfer these points down at the 60 degrees. So I draw lines, construction lines, from all of these corners, and I can now draw an XY axis, label it X, Y, and now I can draw in my pyramid, okay? Um, they tell you that it is 60 millimeters down, I'm going to say that the base of this pyramid is actually on this XY axis over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure from the XY axis 60 millimeters on that center line. And 60 millimeters, transfer that onto that line over there. And now I can join that up to give myself my pyramid. Right, once I've got that, I can now label this thing. I need to draw these lines in dark as well um, because I am looking at it me to get that auxiliary view, I'm standing over here, me, the object, the axis, and the view that I'm seeing is over there, and that's what I've got. Okay, so I'm going to label this thing, number one, number two, number three, number four. Where are those? They'd be on these points over here, number one, number two, number three, and number four. This a over here, I'm going to keep it as an A, okay, and we're going to call our apex then A. Right, once we've got that, 
it says that I've got another xy axis going through A. So I draw an xy axis, x, y, and I'm going to drop these lines down now from these points over here. from A and I'm going to transfer the measurements from my XY axis 2.1 it's that distance I find point 0.1 over here I transfer that down over here and I label that as point 0.1 point 0.2 find point 0.2 run it down that line to the new XY axis and label that as point 0.2 Point three, run it down to the xy axis, label it as point three. Point four, run it down the line, place it on there, and label it as point four. What view am I drawing over here? I'm drawing a top view. I'm looking from the top over here if I was a little bird and I'd be able to see one, two, three, four, so I can join those things up with solid lines. Right, once I've got that, I can drop down the apex as well. Distance from the xy axis to the apex is that. Take it to the new xy axis, place it down. There is point A over there. And I can now try to see what it is that's going to be a solid line, what it is that's going to be hidden detail. If I'm looking from the top over here, I will be able to see point three going down to A. Therefore, that will be a solid line. 1 to A is actually on the bottom, so that would be hidden detail. So I must draw in hidden detail going from 1 to A. Obviously, it would continue over there, but it's covered over, over by 3. Right. Those two on the edges, so obviously you can see them. And that is your top view of this, art, this pyramid. Right, it also asks you for a left view, so I need another xy axis over here. For another xy axis, x, y. Transfer the points across from all of these points. And from A as well. Now I can take the measurements from either this view or from this view in order to get this view over here. Let's try this. And you see, number 1 to the xy axis is the same as from the xy axis to that one. If I transfer this across to this axis over here, there is point 1. Point 1. Point 2, there it is. It's the same from there to there. If I can find point 2, take it across and place it down over here. Point 2. Point 3. There it is, there it is, and there it is. Noticing they are all the same distances from the xy axes. Point 4, point 4, go to the point 4 over here, place it down over there, and point 4 is the same distance. Apex, there's my apex, there's my apex, go to the new xy axis. My apex is over here, it's point A. All right, from that I can then sort out what it is that I'm going to see first. I'm standing over here. What is the first line that I'm going to see? It is going to be 1A. 1A then therefore needs to be done in dark. If I'm looking from here, 3A is going to be hidden detail. So I must draw that in hidden detail from 3 to A. Right, once I've got those, I can then draw in the square because if I'm looking from that side, I will be able to see 
my square. These lines on the edges, obviously you can see 4A and 2A. And that is the end of the pyramid, except for actually labeling it over here. I'd write in here, square-based pyramid.